just that he got towards the end is what's now strongest overall happy nowadays i mean it's gotta be hibana like if you were to if you were to average hop breachers on every single map every single bump site hibana's gotta be the best hop breach you get flashbangs and you get the most versatile breach in the game for hatches for walls etc you get both strong primary and secondary but there are situations where hibana is the weakest like if a like Ace is really good for fast breaches. He has a better gun, primary speaking, but he has no throwables. Thermite is amazing for certain big wall openings, like if triple walls reinforced on Villa, on Master Bedroom. If you're taking Consulate Basement, that's not Prolic anymore, of course. Um, Clubhouse, Thermite's very, very good because you can circumvent Mute Jammers. Um, so I'd probably say Hibana across every single, like, on average. But then it's like, Ace works better with the EMPs, with Thatcher. So if Kaid or Bandit's being played, then Ace is better than Hibana. So it really does depend. But it's between Ace and Hibana for sure. I think they both shine in different areas. Uh, I think Ace's pick rate is higher than Hibana across the board. Uh, because, you know, Thatcher's often banned. Then Kaid gets played, therefore Ace is better. So, and I don't think Ace should get smokes. Then Ace would be a way too good. Way too good there they will find it and they will exploit it and that is exactly what you can circumvent the jammer by doing this by the way in case you're curious there's a jammer on the wall but by repelling like that you can get the wall opened up instead or rather you can open it up despite there being a jammer you can see the jammers right there only them i can do it like you can do it with ace but you can't walk through a vault through it only opens up like a small gap that's why we spoke about earlier thermite on clubhouse is a very important operator very important also fun fact if you emp the gate it goes out for less time than if you do it for the uh you know if you burn the gate it's like nine seconds versus 30 or whatever so emping into the gate is better than emping next to the gate obviously they would have to be reactivated but still 